Welcome to Antenna by Panda. This time we will be testing a 7 element Yagi designed for the amateur band. So, this antenna is 7 element Yagi, but it will perform from 142 to 148 MHz. If this WR is still low on other frequencies, you, you may use it, but it's not advisable since the performance of the antenna will degrade so it is best to use it on the design frequency 142 to 148 with the center frequency of around 145 megahertz so let's check the antenna configuration i have marked the elements with numbers with the corresponding numbers on the boom so you just need to put back the elements with their corresponding numbers on the boom so this is a mid mount antenna but you, st you may still mount it using end mounting by putting a plate at the back of the antenna on your antenna mass if you are going to install it at the uh, middle or mid mount, you need something like this at the extension so that you ca can connect the antenna securely. And there's minimal pattern distortion caused by the boom extension. So we have a gamma match Yagi antenna. We have the tuning stub. We have an SO239. Uh, feed point we have the tuning stub the tuning stub is marked with masking tapes so you just need to put back the tuning stub in between doors those marking tapes we have the plastic spacers you just need to secure it with cable tie so at the back of the antenna we have a PL259 connector coupled directly to an SO239 connector so that the installation would be easier make sure that you just insert the connector properly and tighten it tighten it properly making sure that there's no loose connection between the pit point SO239 and the PL259 connector so this is already tight Make sure also that you tighten the nut on the SO239 connector. This is now connected to an RG8 coaxial cable going to my antenna analyzer which is N121SA antenna analyzer. So let's check the individual frequency response. So this is the exact center frequency of the antenna at 145.5. Our impedance is 47.5 or 48 ohms at BSWR of 1.0. Our reactance is around 0.8 ohms. Our S11 is minus 31 or 32 dB or the antenna return loss, antenna return coefficient. So let's check the individual frequency response from 145 145 is 1.1 .1. so we're going down to 142 and going up to 148 so 145 is 1.1 .1. 144 is 1.1 .1 or 1.2 143 is 1.3 and 142 is 1.4 so let's go up 146 is 1.1 as well very close to 145 147 is 1.2 and 148 is 1.4 so let's check the frequency carb on the antenna analyzer so as we can see we have 142 the lowest frequency at the bottom of the screen and 148 at the upper frequency we have 145.5 145 
the center of frequency at 1.05 or 1.1 DSWR so that's also the lowest dip on the carb so let's check the impedance on that frequency antenna return loss or antenna return condition is minus 32 dB reactance is 0.7 ohms load or resistive load is 47.56 impedance is around 47.58 or 48 ohms at the lowest frequency dip let's go back to BSWR so as we can see here we have 142 is 1.4 and 148 is also 1.4 at the lowest frequency dip of 145.5 megahertz so this antenna is ready for shipping and going to Caloocan City for Mr. Alvin Laude so that's it I hope you enjoy watching and until next time so this is a 7 element Shaggy build for the amateur band 7 element Shaggy antenna thank you for watching